All right, back with another video. Uh, today we've got something very special for you. We're gonna be using Shadow Aboma Snow, um, Powder Snow Weather Ball, Energy Ball, um, and we're gonna be giving Shadow Machamp a bit of a run with it. And uh, we're gonna have Counter Rock Slide Cross Chop on that one. Um, third Mon, that's right. It's gonna be Shadow as well. So we're going with Shadow Galate here. So we've got three angry Shadow boys ready to go. Um, these battles are going to be pretty crazy. They're probably going to be big wins or big losses. Let's get into them. Thanks for Chipsy for donating the battles. Let's see how we go into the first match here. Uh, got play here um, on the lead. It's not an amazing matchup though, especially for a shadow version. Those rock slides are going to hit and hit really hard. So let's see how he plays this out. First rock slide coming through, he's going to shield. He's built up some energy here. Um, he's got... Uh, two weather balls to spin off here. Let's see how much they take off. Should be at least, uh, no, he's decided to block that and he's got the other one coming through now. Um, maybe try and switch into the Machamp and catch the uh, rock slide. That's what he's done and he's done it perfectly here. Now let's see what the opposition does. They should switch out because this Machamp will make light work of, uh, yeah, no, switch out a little bit slow there. Okay, this isn't amazing, but look, the rock slide's actually gonna do significant damage here. Um, and it's not a terrible matchup because the Obama Snow can come back in and farm down if he loses out here. Um, the opponent just quits. Look, I would too, facing his team. It's pretty daunting. Into the second game here. Bit of a better lead, depending on what uh, punch the Hypno has. And geez, those confusions are doing a fair bit of damage. But once these weather balls start getting through, um, it'll level the score. And <laughs> look at that. Geez, this Hypno doesn't know what it's dealing with here. I uh, certainly can't take another one, but if he shields this up, oh, it's going to be a fire punch, okay. So he'll get his second move away here, and then you'll have to consider whether he wants to uh, use his other shield. He will outpace the Hypno, but the confusion damage might actually get him down before he can get uh, another move off. So he might even let this go. Um, and from here, he'll probably come in with a Gallade and get some energy. That would be a, not a bad play, and he's going to give that a go here. Obviously, it resists the confusion damage being... Uh, but Galate is so flimsy, it didn't even look like it resisted. It's down to half. But it's got some energy and it's ready to do some damage here. And this Skarmory, well, we'll see what happens. He's going the close combat here. Um, Skarm might think it's a little... Oh, jeez, that does some damage. He's staying in. I probably would have gone into the Machamp there maybe and just uh, tried to farm some energy. Instead, he's going to have to wear the move here. Um, but he'll get some energy. He'll whittle the Skarm down with counters. Um, and then hopefully you can put some pressure on uh, whatever's in the back. And, oh, jeepers. Yep, he's at two cross chops here. Uh, the normal typing on the Vigoroth. Uh, yeah, if, yeah, he's gonna get to the move here. It's got half its health left and cross chop isn't a powerful move, but I'm tipping this KOs. Bang, there you go, see you later. This is crazy. Into the third game here. Uh, not a great lead. I'd be getting out pretty quick. He does. He goes into the Gallade. Not a bad safe swap here. The confusion damage is uh, doing a bit. And he get, actually uh, gets the Leaf Blade off before the Vigoroth um, decides to use any energy. Um, now it's going... This will be Body Slam. Don't know if Gallade can take much of a Body Slam. <laughs> I've never seen Body Slam do as much as that. And that's the end of Gallade. See you later, buddy. Resisting the counters too and it couldn't even hold on. Okay, this will be another body slam. He's learned, learned his lesson there. He's going to shield that one up um, and get some energy. Um, and we'll see what he comes in with now. Machamp's just an absolute tank. Oh, this isn't a good situation. He's going to have to get that rock slide off. It's not looking like a winning game at the moment. Is he going to switch out here? What's he going to do? Okay, all right. Well, the leaf blades are resisted. Oh, actually, he's going to win this. This is going to one-hit KO, that Aerodactyl, and then he'll go back in and he'll probably be able to powder snow down that um, victory bell. It's going to be tight, but I reckon he'll get there. Jeepers. This thing is an absolute beast. Well, they're all beasts. I mean, Shadow Mon. It makes for some exciting games, and he's got that one over the line too. Uh, come on, Chipsy, mate. We're not checking IVs. We're trying to play PvP here. All right. Switches out of the lead. Not sure why. I guess because um, with shields, um, the victory bell would probably whittle it down. But they've gone into Deoxys here, which isn't great. Resisting the counters. Um, this could be a Psycho Boost. Could also be a Rock Slide. It is the Rock Slide. That probably would have KO'd though. So he's staying in here and he's just trying to muscle his way through. Unfortunately, the Psychic typing on Deoxys means that uh, 
Um, fisty punchy moves don't really do a lot, so. All right, this is gonna KO, he's gonna let it go this time. Be able to come in um, and get a little bit of energy on the Gallade with the confusion damage, and uh, it's resisting the counters. All right, with a bit of energy, Gallade can be very dangerous. Oh, Bastiard on here, is he gonna, yeah, he's going to bait with the Leaf Blade here. Let's see if the uh, opponent knows what's going on. Doesn't shield, but that might lull them into a false sense of security here. This close combat, yeah, he's going for it. This will KO. Um, does he shield? That's the big question. No, he doesn't. <laughs> See you later, Bastiard. Uh, bloody grass holes, eh? All right, and uh, now he can probably just powder snow down. And he does, and good to see, good to see. All right, into the next game here. Um, interestingly, he can certainly put some uh, shield pressure on, um, and he's staying in, and uh, look, I think that's the play. See how much one of these uh, weather balls does, and that'll sort of give us a guide. Yeah, look, next one's gonna KO. He's switching out, um, trying to catch a Dark Pulse or something there, but they've gone into the Skarm here. He's just gonna uh, try and uh, land this Rock Slide. Um, I think I'll probably let it go. Yeah, it does a fair bit of damage. He might try and counter down here. Nah, they're, they're onto it and throwing the move, but look, not a bad result for the safe swap there. Uh, the Mux still got some energy, so we'll see what happens, but he should be able to get another Weather Ball away here uh, if he brings it back in. He does, so he's going to have to shield, and uh, he might even let the Abomber Snow go here, um, because the Gallade can come in, and the Confusion damage on the Poison type, he should be able to uh, Confusion this down before it gets to another move. And he does, so he's got some energy and he's got two shields. This is a really good situation for something like Gallade, and Look, these Leaf Blades will probably one hit KO. So as long as he doesn't get Waterfall down before he can get to that second Leaf Blade, I don't think he will. No, he's got it now. This will probably KO, so another solid win here. They tell you what, these Shadows cause absolute mayhem and these have been some super fun games. So the team, well look, as you can see there, it's super glassy, um, played correctly. It can be an absolute wrecking ball of a team. But you do have to watch out. I mean, as we saw that a body slam on almost one hits a Gallade. So, yeah, 